Hello and welcome to Blue Lab's official video on how to use the Blue Lab combo meter. This video will show you how to set up the meter for the first use, calibrate the pH probe and take readings. We will also have tips for care and storage at the end of the video. Open the battery cover. Place supplied batteries in the compartment with terminals at the correct ends. Slide the cover back on. Blue Lab recommends using only alkaline batteries. Remove the replaceable pH probe from the box, connecting the pH probe to the combo meter by lining up the lugs of the BNC fittings. Fasten securely by pushing the pH probe connector on and twisting one quarter turn. You need to calibrate the pH probe to the meter before you take readings. If this is the first time using the pH probe, you don't need to clean it before calibrating. Calibrate your pH probe to two points for accuracy. Use freshly poured pH 7.0 and pH 4.0 calibration solutions. Turn the meter on. Place the probe in pH 7.0 solution. Be sure to wait until the reading has stopped moving. Press and hold the pH button until the display shows C-A-L. The pH 7 indicator will be displayed. The pH 4 indicator will flash to let you know that pH 4.0 calibration is now required. Rinse the probe tip in clean tap water and place in pH 4.0 solution. Be patient and wait for the reading to stop. Remember, it may take a few minutes. Now press and hold the pH button until CAL appears on the screen. Then release the button. You have successfully calibrated when you see both calibration indicators on the screen. Rinse the probe in clean tap water. Discard all used solution after calibration. Never put them back in the bottle as you will contaminate the solution. Clean and calibrate the pH probe each month to ensure accurate readings. The calibration indicators will disappear one month after the last successful calibration to remind you it's time to calibrate again. Your conductivity temperature probe is factory calibrated so it's ready to use. You'll need to clean and test each month to ensure accurate readings. Store the pH probe when not in use. Always ensure the pH probe tip is wet. If it dries, it dies. Check that there is enough Blue Lab pH probe KCL storage solution in the cap to cover the probe tip. If not, add KCL solution to ensure the probe tip will be covered. Place the cap back on the probe. Twist the top counterclockwise to secure. Always store the pH probe in KCL storage solution. Never use RO water, distilled, or deionized water. Pure water changes the chemistry in the probe, causing the probe to die. The probe needs to be submerged in the liquid for a measurement to occur. The pH probe comes with a suction cup to prevent permanent damage to the glass probe. Remove the pH probe storage cap. Gently twist the suction cup onto the stem of the pH probe. Lightly push the suction cup onto the side of the reservoir, far enough down so the pH probe is in the solution. The probe needs to be submerged in the liquid for a measurement to occur. Place the conductivity temperature probe in the solution. To obtain a pH reading of your solution, press the pH calibrate button to select pH. Wait until the reading on the screen stops moving. It may take a few minutes. Press the nutrient button to take an EC or PPM reading of your solution. Wait until the reading on the screen stops moving. It may take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on the solution temperature. To change the conductivity units, press and hold the nutrient slash units button until the display starts flashing. Release, then short press the same button to scroll through the available units. Simply stop pressing when the required unit is displayed. To take a temperature reading, press the temp button. Wait until the reading on the screen stops moving. You can also change the temperature units between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Press and hold the temp button until the display starts flashing. Release, then short press the same button to scroll through the units. Simply stop pressing when the required unit is displayed. If you're taking measurements from different solution, always rinse each probe using clean tap water to remove traces of the nutrient solution and ensure accurate readings. The combo meter automatically turns off after four minutes. There is no off button. If the meter turns off before a reading is taken, press any button to turn it back on. To maximize the life of your meter and equipment, 
we recommend these care steps. Keep the pH probe tip wet. If it dries, it dies. Follow the full cleaning procedure for both probes each month. You can watch the Blue Lab Combo Meter cleaning and calibration video online if you need a refresher. Store the pH probe in Blue Lab pH Probe KCL storage solution. Store the meter in a cool, dry, clean place. Keep out of direct sunlight. If meter gets wet, wipe dry immediately. If you're storing the meter for a month or more, remove the batteries and pH probe. We at Blue Lab hope you enjoy using your Blue Lab combo meter. For more information about Blue Lab products, visit www.getbluelab.com.